Yeah, tilt, uh, yeah, uh, down side tilt, B. side B, yeah. And obviously Wolf got the tried and true back air that you can sit in any situation, landing, down smash. catch a jump, down smash, yeah, tilt. Yeah. We're gonna go at it right now. Roy versus Wolf. Nair training him across the stage just like the Palazzati mains. Alright, bit of a preemptive up B there. Don't really know what he was going for, but uh, Red not really able to capitalize off of it. Okay, trying to get something. I would have killed, but Red holding shield the whole time, not biting. Alright, I really like that side B option again, stalling it as well, making sure he gets every single hit. Make sure you get everything that you can. You know Red's gonna make sure he gets everything he can when he hits you. Definitely. Relatively even game. Missing the tech, but not getting the punish. Down smash early enough, I guess. Whew. What a back throw. <laughs> it sounds like nowhere, and that's yeah. honestly terrifying. <laughs> Alright, Red looking for the edge guard. Not gonna land the up tilt or back here. Zara just kind of... I'll be just kind of retreating back to the center stage to a little scared. Alright, I like the idea, I just don't think it was the right scenario for it. He's gonna get punished with the side yeah, B offline. He's gonna do it, of course. Alright. Red again, really... Up and here. Super, super good at, like, really bouncing back quickly after losing his stock, uh, you know, notice. Hey, he saw how many nares that, uh, I'll be... Oh, oh my, my God. goodness! This stage sucks! I've been saying! <laughs> I think this stage should be banned over Callum. That's actually crazy. Dying at 31 to side B off the far right flag. Right, but again, red. Cool calm collected. Yep. Let's see if he can bounce back. On the platform! There's been way too many town and city moments. I'm gonna make a pump away from side B again. Goodbye? Oh. No, just barely. Alright, more players trading here. Bro. Yeah, almost falling out the landing, but not quite near. Just barely going to beat it out. Missing the back. Backer's going to do it. 96% on red. And uh, Roy can kill you there. All right. Good starting combo here. Down throw backer. Random side B. Okay. That's a heck of a read. Keep it going. I don't know. Oh, the hands. Okay, that kill. Gotta be super safe here, make sure there's some really good cross up. Stop is doing just that. Could have stalled it a bit more. Yeah, back air, gonna do it red, bringing it all the way back. Yeah. Really, really unfortunate there for Albi. I think if he just made a couple small tweaks to his uh, last couple strings there, that, that wouldn't have happened. Yeah. Oh well. Red does claim that one. I wonder if Albi will stick with the Roy. I think he should. Roy. Yeah. Stay on it. Yeah, it's like there's, he's doing a lot of just riding aerials. That seems to be kind of what he does. Like yeah. jump in air, jump in air, jump maybe land with the side B, but it's very jumpy. Obviously, I mean most characters are in this game. But we saw some really good anti airs there. Red got an up tiller too. Ooh, I love that. End. That's crazy that that worked. Right. Zyro. Oh my God, Albi. <laughs> I keep saying Zyro. <laughs> Albi doesn't get the follow if he wants. Right. I also like the stage selection too for both characters, a little less janky. Yeah, it be a, much, a bit more of an honest game. I'll have to jump with the back here, Albi. Okay, nice air guard right through, yep. yep. Still jumping at ledge though, these back airs are gonna find their mark again soon. Forward throw yeah, this trying to get a tech chase. Back air for ya. Yeah, really, really good, even if it's a straight, even if it's a straight back air, I mean... Always finding your mark. That back air is also going to find his mark. Still side B right to ledge. Right. Throwing out all the moves, hoping to get a kill. Been able to get it. Oh, yeah, that's classic. That's, it. that's oh, classic. It's oh. yeah. Definitely worth every inch of that. Well done there from Red. Right reverse position of last game. Red up two sucks to one at zero percent each. And Red's hope hoping it won't happen the way it went did last game. If that's the case. Oh, yeah. Yeah, really good there from Red, although Albi is able to fight off the ledge, finishing off there with back air. Yeah, string him across the whole stage, get a ledge trap situation. Yeah. Red reversals it quite nicely. Yeah. These side views just like aren't properly connecting because they're in the air. Yeah. Oof. Back air. Uh, no, I'm gonna play it safe. Great strategy. Okay, reverse Nair. I don't know if that's what he wanted, but it worked out. 
Oh, not gonna find what he wants. Blood trap situation. I get the reversal on it. Yeah, I, I don't really know what to say there. <laughs> It, it, it felt like they were both playing fine. It didn't feel like Ali had too many big holes in his game plan. Yeah, but. I think it's just one ki one player, I should say, just sort of capitalizing on one's mistakes a little bit more. Like Red again, sort of getting through those edge guards. Um, again, just rolling kind of behind Albi, getting the F tilt off. Just, yeah, let, let's... trapping game definitely was stronger from Red there. That's yeah. Sure. All those little things that add up over the course of the match, right? Mm -hmm. Now he's gonna have to think about character. That game was not nearly as close as the first one. Yeah, I would like to see Kali. Kali does come out for Albi, so. Uh, character he's a lot more comfortable with. Let's see, here we go. Taking over to Stadium now for game number three. Alright, down throw. Not going for the dash attack. Okay, just waiting to see what the uh, the edge card's gonna be. These nares get the train. The last hit to 56%. Middle side B is gonna lead to a nice reversal there from Red. Alright, Red's gonna have to find a really quick option there to punish landing there on shield. I don't know if he will will. Catch him and there while drifting down gonna take him. Reading the disadvantage off is quite nicely, playing super safe. Yeah, and Red doing a really great job as well, DIing far out to avoid getting hit by that factor. Trying to get back to center stage, but uh Red kinda called out his trick there. Up here, game three. Oh, yeah, that's that's attack, and then the big F tilt attempt. And then it works out. Good left trap situation. He up beat onto the platform the last two times, and that pin he beat him doing it. Mm -hmm. Because he didn't do it, it let him get back to stage. Okay. He was in the air for long enough that Albi was able to get that up smash, recognizing where he was. Yeah, really, really great reaction there. We're gonna get a bit of an air train here coming out from Albi. Okay, Ooh. nice extension, realizing he couldn't get a fair or anything there. These teleports are doing quite nicely. Love far. that, love that. Realizing he was going to get caught, thrown out the upbeat. Nobody expected that. Albi is definitely the one playing defense here. Red, Red's the aggressor for the most part. Albi playing quite defensive. Mm -hmm. I like drift out with his aerials, like go in uh, and then immediately drift back with your aerial. Because you don't want to be giving up space. So when you go for it and then drift back, you're kind of in the same starting position. Yeah. While still getting your drift back that you want. So, okay, I'll be going low. Nice, love that. Oh. Yeah, nice on the hot from Red. You don't see Red do it too often. Wolves do it a lot. Red's not one of them that does it a lot. Yeah, I feel like Red's almost just, he waits. He doesn't even like do something, he just waits and reacts to what his opponent does. He, he, he's good at okay. calling out the jump. Yeah, Albi was spamming jump there. But Red's really good at He's like mixing up when he's doing the landing. Sometimes it's a short hop aerial, full hop aerial, short hop, double jump aerial. You never know when he's gonna land. Alright, double fair. Missing the grab. Probably just too high of a percentage to get that. Albi just sitting there waiting for Red to run all the way up. That's gonna take it. Even stocks here. Albi not out of it. Every set that we've seen here is just like the first person goes up too low. Yeah, it's crazy. Right, and again, Red playing a little bit slow here, trying to look for his option. Oh, Red's in roll, but wasn't sure about it. I'll be jumping a lot up to Red, happy to call out the jumps once again. Right, up there is probably a couple coming in here. Yep. And then the Nair to send him sideways, makes sense. Interesting. Option. Okay, yeah, goes right into him, sees him charging in the F smash, so why not? He calls out the teleport too. You can go into the same position with it every time. Mix it up once, but that's about it. Red's calling out the jumps even if you're on the platform. Because that's a common disadvantage option when you're on the platform. And now he's doing it in neutral lot too. Yeah, both players really swinging here. I think Red's looking for a back air real hard here. He's gonna have to get out of his up yeah, air. Right. He's gonna be able to. Yeah. Okay, that is Albi taking the game. Yeah, so it's 2-1 uh, now. Heading into game number four. A little bit of hope. Uh, it's 2-1 for Red right now. A little bit of hope, a little bit of momentum generated for Albi here. Al uh, no, Albi was up game one, but we lost it. 2-1. One just probably looking to make a reverse 3-0 happen. It was a nail-biter last game, but he's still alive. Yeah. 
Nair gonna start it off here. Um, are we getting getting the reverse Nair on the platform? But we didn't get anything after it. But still got a big lead. Yeah, absolutely. 70% nothing to stop at. We're getting a back for off stage here. Edge guard scenario. Trying to go for the forward air, but not gonna get anything. Just too high with the double jump there. In the air dodge. Nice, love it. Night kill? No, okay, not at that. Time. Not at that. Early. I'll, I'll be playing a bit more standard here. I feel like this is more normal Palu that I'm seeing here. Yeah. Like the down tilts are coming out and everything. I think what it is too is that he's trying to slow the pace down. Both of these players kind of like opposite paces, right? Red's very, very quick. LB, I think, is more slower, more methodical. Just, just by a little bit, but yeah. we're also seeing just a lot. I think, like, you nair a lot in general. I feel like there is more nair than usual coming out from LB here. Mm -hmm. But like, it's, like you said, a bit more methodical in how it's being placed. Right. Yes. And then nair get hit. It's like, all right, I'm recognizing this is a situation where I can nair and it'll do something for me. All right, we got a back throw coming in from red, missing the back there. Oh, calling out the jump onto the platform with the nair. Getting so many weird hits from it, but it's a nair train then in some way. <laughs> okay, he's jumping over to the platform, not even landing on him in the first place. Alright, okay. Get up attack, we're just barely catching him, it was in the air. Ooh. I like the idea, just not quite enough to get it, no jump. Yep, smash that once, red 16, and a ledge trap, no, how are we gonna reverse the ledge? Once again, you see these fade back aerials and everything. Red 16 wants to go in. I was doing a really good job at keeping him out. A really solid defensive game. Making sure he's taking his stage where he gets it. This is a very important part about defensive play that I'll be doing really well at. Mm -hmm. Alright, maybe okay, going for the forward throw here. Off to keep the, uh, the back, uh, back throw a little prep. Teleport hasn't been pulled out really this game, so it finally does it, and that's not expecting it. Oh, okay, back throw should still go. I was gonna say that should be enough tonight, but back throw works as well. Alright. Forward throw, probably immediate side beat. Yep, there it is. Down tilt is just gonna kill. Flat out, I did not expect that one. I'll be up two stops to one. Starting another nair thing? No, getting a bunch of weird hits. Nice try, guys. Knows what to do about it every time. So much damage. Red also getting a lot of damage here. Oh, okay. Like the option, just unfortunately didn't roll in. Hit by all these landings, sharking it so well. Feels like Red's holding in a little bunch. Like there's a few like dash chances here or there, but it feels like he's just kind of consistently going in. Yeah. Ironic right now, they both ran away. I'll be pretty aggressive, but in general. Trying to catch the landing here. Good up be there from Albi with the cancel. Looking good for him. Wow. Yeah, yeah dash attack's paying dividends. He's catching so many landings here. Yep. Um, platform usage could definitely help Red 16 a lot if he's having trouble with the landing. Sometimes right. you need to feed that you're going to approach and then not approach. If he's constantly doing these dash backs and catching your landings with dash attacks, you can't be landing in front of him even if you're mixing up the timing, I guess. Mm. So, 2-2 two, two now. Yeah, and the Palu are actually paying dividends yep. here for Albi uh, when he initially thought it wouldn't. So this will be really, really interesting to see how, uh, you know, both players really turn it up here in game number five. Kalos is the pick. Stop the battle. Whoa, right. Game number, I think this is the first game five that we've had in top eight. So it could be. I know five dollars and blocked it, but I don't know if that was a top eight. Yeah, I game. think that was quarters. Okay. So. Or I mean, I think that was like losers to make top eight. Gotcha. Here we are now. Palace Pokemon League. Even percent so far. I'll be still playing the dash back game. He's super elusive. Yep. All right, Red throwing out a lot of hitboxes here. Trying to pinpoint Albi down. Not an easy task, another dash attack. We gotta get Red back onto the ground here. He's a little too high, there we go. These Nair's lingering for so long that the Red just like doesn't know when he can contest it. Because Albi's doing the thing where it's like, 
he's he's jumping, and once he's jumped and the move's not out, you're expecting him to do like a landing fair or a landing fair. But he's delaying his nair a little bit, so it's not initially rising. Right. But then it's still coming out and covering him as he lands, and still during a bit of his rising during the air. He's covering himself super nicely. Yeah. All right. Oh, oh, that could have been a down smash. Across the stage isn't killing. Nice ledge trap here, Good. Oh, I love that smart off in there from Red. I'll be not, not committing on the ledge trap. Moving back, gets the dash attack. This play from Aldi is super solid. Right, immediate back from Red, not gonna be enough this time to take him out. Yeah, yeah you gotta not let a Nair hit you if you're Red, because that might really tilt you if you get damage percent on you right away, even though it's kind of bound to happen. Yeah. Calling out the jump with the up air. Haven't seen as many jump call outs, but we're seeing them multiple times in a row here now. Okay. That's going to be in the favor of Red to spot that scramble. Two stocks apiece, even for sense. Yeah, one shield, get hit with two multi hits, that's going to shield poke. That's 47% here. Ooh. And more. Okay, that was a really good air dodge up. Let him right to ledge while Albi was in the lag of using explosive flame. Alright, good. Very well, nice. Yep, just up smash, solid. Solid option. Landing and another one. Game. game. Alright. I'll be again struggling to get back. 105 on him. Back here. Oh. So the jump, realizing how many jump nares he was doing. Anti air of other sorts here. We were seeing it in the earlier games, kind of painted a bit last game and it's back all the anti airs. Uh, again, I'll be on his winner side stock. I believe this is still winners. No, this is losers. Oh, this is uh, losers. Loser semi. Okay. Loser semi. Okay, my apologies on his tournament stock. Does he have a jump? Okay, he does. Gets hit with the laser. Ooh. He's able to survive that one. Force call to jump with the up air. He's going to find it. Seems to be Red 16's job right now to be calling out these jumps. Albi's noticing it clearly. Uh, back air, not quite enough, unfortunately, for Albi. Yeah, it's supposed to be not working for him. Nice. All right, calling out the jump from Red. So he's going to do 88.8% here. Yeah, all it takes is one there just to get things started again. Game five, last stock. One Palu combo could not even it up, but get you a decent amount of percent. That makes you feel like it's more doable. But 100 to zero is always awful. Ooh, that was supposed, probably supposed to be like a far back air that he messed up. I to assume. Yeah, I'll, I'll be really terrified to jump here. Oh my goodness, Sorry, Albi no. has red all the ropes. Catches the landing too. Back here, not going to be there. enough to kill yep. Yeah, Albi's playing a lot more grounded here. And Red Team's going to have to find a way to kill him on the ground. He's probably not going to be jumping into a back air or anything. Yeah, up tilt, very, very safe. Oh, back here. It's still on the platform. Red 16. 3 2 over LB. A repeat of, I think, their last set just with swap characters. Goes down 0 2 with one character.